One thing that I would highly recommend if you're here in Chenggu is to try out like the health treatment here like the sauna, the gym, they have like amazing ones and I'm trying an infrared sauna Alright, I'm gonna quickly show you guys the room They also have a Wi-Fi and also Bluetooth so if you want to listen to a podcast or something you can listen to it while you're in the sauna which is like really cool We just finished with the session and just showered. <laughs> oh my god, it feels so good. It was like 45 minutes in total and my body just feels so good. It's like so much needed. One of my favorite thing to do here in Chenggu is obviously to catch the sunset and I'm actually at one of the sunset bar here it's called Sandy Fit, Sun, Sandy Fit Sand Bar so basically you can order coconut and just enjoy the sunset it looks amazing it's less busy than Batu Bolong area and it's just like a couple minutes walk away but let me show you the sunset There's so many options. have an amazing waffle fries here I always have to order this and 
a pink berry smoothie. Alright, I'm taking a quick break. It is now 2.34 p.m. And yeah, I'm just like dog sitting my friend's dog. So I'm at her place in Pararanaon, which I just noticed this is actually a really good area to live because it's not that packed. It's not as packed as the Barawa side, but they also have a lot of like gym, cafes. It's very convenient here and they still have a lot of like greenery in this area. Like look at all of this. It's actually a really nice area to live in. Anyway, there's a lot of area to explore here in Bali. And even though Batu Bolong, um, the main area in Chenggu is really packed these days uh, with a lot of tourists coming back to Bali, you still can find a decent place to live here, like short term or even long term. Like look around Pereranan area or Kurobokan is also really nice. And yeah, I'm gonna continue on work and I'll take you to one of my favorite place for dinner. All right, we are at my next favorite place. It's called Sista Dumpling in Barawa. So this is probably my favorite Chinese restaurant here because they do serve um, dumpling and homemade noodle. They made it from scratch, which I'm gonna show you guys later. I love their chili sauce, their dumplings, their noodles, and one of the best thing about this restaurant is the view. Let me quickly show you guys. So here how it looks. So they have some like fusion Chinese meals. They have the Xiao Long Pao, that's like one of my favorite dim sum. And of course their noodle, their hand cooked noodle. Um, I just ordered this one. If you guys are planning to come, make sure to check this out. So they have different promotion um, on different day. They have the all you can eat as well as the dumpling class that you can join. So definitely something fun you can do while you're here in Changgu. So we got their noodles, Tantan noodle. And I really want to show you guys the texture. Look at how huge this just reminds me of China so much. The Jian Bing or the scallion pancake. So of course, we gotta get some Xiao Long Pao and some Shao Kao or Chinese barbecue. 